you have what I'm left in the backpack? Did he actually say I'll kill you and your friends if you don't get rid of these drugs, or just you? Movie trailers are pretty much an art form in their own right, and 2015 proved that. You are why there is no escape no. from indecency no. No. and gossip no. and lies. Hello and welcome to Top X, where we count down the very best that YouTube has to offer. Today we're remembering what got us the most excited in film as we look at the best movie trailers of 2015. She's some white fish. Has her cheat on me with real fish? Yeah, bitch, like a real fish, girl, like vagina and everything. For this list, we'll be looking at the trailers that roused the most anticipation among moviegoers on YouTube. That's how it starts. The fever. The rage that turns good men. Number 10, Straight Outta Compton. Our music was like our weapon. And that's the most powerful weapon we got. When music hits the movies, it can prove a difficult divide to bridge. But this trailer brings both worlds together with the right balance of grit and glamour. People are scared of you guys. They think you're dangerous. But you have a unique voice. The world needs to hear it. Straight Outta Compton documents the rise and fall of NWA and is produced in part by Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and Easy es widow, Tamika Woods Wright. Cruising down the street in my 6'4". Hey, that was dope, eh? The trailer is a fast-paced glimpse at the highs and lows of the late 80s rap game, with enough to satisfy the hip-hop aficionado as well as the less-learned onlooker. The movie made over 200 million worldwide, so this clip certainly did something right. idea how many records you're selling? NWA's arrived here f***ing shoot. Number 9. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Today is a day for truth. With over 60 million YouTube views, the Batman v Superman trailer sneak peek was one of the most watched of 2015. After years immersed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we simply couldn't wait to see what DC had in store, and we weren't too disappointed. 20 years in Gotham, how many good guys are left? How many stayed that way? We get to see Ben Affleck's Dark Knight meet Henry Cavill's Man of Steel, with a teasing glimpse of Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman and a uniquely ominous narrative from Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. The red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. Today's a day for truth, and the truth is we're pretty excited. And no matter what Lawrence Fishburne said, we've rarely cared about anything more. Number 8. Good Night Mommy. Mama? It's not often that you're terrified to watch a film before you've even pressed play. The Good Night Mommy trailer is everything you'd ever want from a horror movie itself. There's mystery, isolation, scary costumes, and tension mounting music. From the bloodshot eye to the sickly crunch of cockroaches, it's a shiver down your spine that's there to stay. In a little under two and a half minutes, it has you behind the sofa in fear, but on the edge of your seat in anticipation of the creepiness to come. Number seven, Suicide Squad. They're bad guys. Exactly. And if anything goes wrong, we blame them. We have built-in deniability. Boy, oh boy, DC really did spoil us, didn't they? When the Suicide Squad trailer dropped at Comic-Con, it opened up a whole new perspective on the superhero genre. All you need to know is you work for me. was a bunch of bad guys, the worst of the worst as they're called, and we're automatically rooting for them to win. We're the Patsies. We're some kind of suicide squad. Any movie with Will Smith, Cara Delvine, Margot Robbie, and Jared Leto is sure to ruffle a lot of feathers. Turn all those big names into bad guys gone good though, and the anticipation reaches an appropriately dangerous level. I hope you got insurance. It was even possible to squeeze that much attitude into three short minutes. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. Number six, Hail Caesar. How long since your last confession, my son? 27 hours. It's really too often. 
You're not that bad. An ensemble cast in the hands of the Coen brothers? We've been here before, and it always ends well. The trailer for Hail Caesar watches like a who's who of modern cinema, but the movie's set in the golden age of film. As a cinematic spectacle, it doesn't get much better than that. Hail Caesar is a prestige picture with one of the biggest stars in the world, Bad Whitlock. The trailer has just enough gags without giving too much away, and by the end we're almost as confused as George Clooney's character looks. If we have... Ha! Faith! 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 Cut! Plus, Channing Tatum's sailor getup is only muddling things further. There's only one way to answer all these questions. Watch the movie. Wondering what's going on? Mm. Number 5. The Witch What went we out into this wilderness to find? If you have a nervous disposition, then look away now. That's because the trailer for The Witch is just straight up scary. Mm. Boo! <laughs> there you are. Mm. The first 60 seconds are spooky enough, but then the baby disappears and there's a lady in a grave and the nightmare truly begins. By the end of the clip, you can't help but shudder at how frightening the full-length film has to be. You've cursed this family. With every unnerving critic's review that rolls across the screen, your heartbeat quickens just a little bit, and bam, you can't sleep for days. Number four, Deadpool. Why the fancy red suit, Mr. Pool? Oh, that's because it's Christmas Day, Dopinder, and I'm after someone on my naughty list. If you were growing tired of the same superhero plots and characters, then the Deadpool trailer was exactly what the proverbial doctor ordered, because this guy gives absolutely no f***s. You're probably thinking, this was a superhero movie, but that guy in the suit just turned that other guy into a f***ing kebab. In the second Red Band trailer, there are badass kills, inappropriate jokes, and enough superhero showmanship to put all other comic book characters out of the business. Whatever they did to me made me totally indestructible and completely no. un you you look like the inside of other people's assholes. In what could prove to be a career-defining role, Ryan Reynolds embraces the attitude of an indestructible superhero with an uncontrollable mouth. Hear the music. He cued the music, and we cued out the theater. The movie had a worldwide opening of 264.9 million. Yeah, you're way too much dude for me. That's why I brought him. I mean, that's why I brought her? Oh no, finish your tweet. Number three, Mad Max Fury Road. We are not things. We are not things. Where is she taking them? Anticipation was at crazy levels, and we were not disappointed. Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron are about as badass as anyone could have imagined, and the apocalyptic atmosphere simply burns through the screen. As the world fell, each of us in our own way was broken. It was hard to know who was more crazy. The clip is basically hell on earth in two and a half minutes. Fury Road actually went on to be the most successful movie at the 2016 Oscars. Oh, what a lovely day. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Number two, The Revenant. Bundle up nice and warm for our runner-up, because the trailer for The Revenant is unapologetically bleak. It's all winter and wilderness, bear attacks, remote loneliness, and Oscar-winning performances. Even back when this trailer dropped in July, there were rumors that Leonardo DiCaprio would finally impress the Academy with this one. Which proved well-founded, as Leo landed 2016's Best Actor Award. There are a lot of kills in this clip, a lot of near misses, and a lot of heavy breathing to bring it all together. It's pretty intense. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I got a little treat for y'all tonight. We're going to see if he still got some magic in that mic. Get your weapon out. You know I wouldn't do this if I had any other choice. But he's my friend. So was I.
listen to me. Never speak on my behalf about my business again. I'm like Alice. Now I've got a chance. I'm scared. I know. In the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Okay, let's do the math. I gotta figure out how to grow four years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. Number one, Star Wars The Force Awakens. The biggest movie of the year, The Force first awakened for Star Wars with two epic teaser trailers, the second of which smashed all sorts of records. My sister has it. You have that power too. When the preview debuted in April, it scored 88 million views in the first 24 hours and 145 in its first week. The film's full trailer, released in October, may have notched even loftier numbers, but teaser number two is what really lit our lightsabers. Luke's monologue, Vader's skull, Han and Chewie's homecoming, plus a whole lot of new characters. The film premiered on December 14th, so this was really Christmas coming early. Chewie, we're home. <laughs> Well, that's it for today's list. What was your favorite trailer of 2015? As always, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, vote for upcoming lists on our Suggest page, and for more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. A great fighter once said, it ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward.